Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to Regrowth. Okay, we are a little short on time today and we've been, to be fair, a little bit short on time over the last few days. Um, so it's going to be a bit rough and ready. I'm going to try and get through as much as I can, but I will not lie to you, it's going to be a wing it and see episode. So let's very quickly, let's just have a, have a little sleep. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to start to try and do something a bit more with the um, orange tulips um, because wow my volume is super loud I think I've just managed to turn my headset up a bit let's that's slightly better excuse me just for one moment that's better I actually hear myself think now that was proper loud for me um, so I want to try and utilize some of this area here because as you can see we are producing way more like way more coal essence than we we actually need so i'm going to gather up half of this field and the plan is i'm going to swap it out uh, and put in some tulips so let's gather up all of this essence that is just everywhere just everywhere um yeah that barrel is completely full and i wonder whether we can actually get um some jabber barrels down but what i want to do is just dispose of this essence very quickly we'll turn it into coal um i want to make a set of clippers because i don't think i've actually made these yet let's just check my no i haven't clippers clippers are the way forward right uh, let's stick the coal seeds. You can all go into there. And the essence. Yeah, essence of coal. Let's just very quickly just clear this down. Whack that in there. Oh. What are we doing? Look, I can't even concentrate on that today. Let's clear that again. Um we want to make coal let's just see how much coal we can just pull out of here very quickly just using what we've got there we go so we'll just put that one bit back in there oh wow we've still got another another load in there as well haven't we there we go more coal than we are ever ever going to need but hey let's just top that up and i'm just going to dump the rest of it just into the bottom of here just because um yeah just because quite frankly just to get it out of our inventory so i've already got the tulip seeds it's one of our 10 10 10 tulip seeds and i want to get that planted down but I need to make clippers so for that uh, let's pop down in fact actually let's go and grab a block of coal out of here I think I've just pulled a fresh one yeah we've got enough to do a few more so that gives us those we need some sticks now, I'm not entirely sure we've got a little bit of lag today a little bit of lag not so good a little bit framey um, but first of all we need to make some shears then you pop those shears in there I think it's here like so and then like that shears let's double check the recipe whoopsie clippers oh, I had it slightly wrong that's got to be there perfect so the clippers will potentially allow us to get 10 10 10 plants straight off the bat so first of all we're going to need to plant our seed and let that grow but yeah you still see we're still spitting out more than we more than we can get through um, but what i can do is i'm going to leave a gap at the moment between this and the coal just until i'm able to sort of fill them in with the plants but what this will do is it basically give a clipping it may or may not take 
There's our uh, our challenge. With no need for all of the crop sticks or anything like that. So, okay. So these need just normal soil, don't they? Right. Okay. Let's let's just get this all gathered up again. So we're just going to have to dig this all up, aren't we? Okay. Well, that will, in fairness, that will stop all of this spreading. I think it's just normal farmland. Have to be a little bit careful here. Pop that. It does mean we can start getting this, at the very least, growing while we uh, sort the rest of this out. You can see all the uh, the messy workings of my uh, my attempts to kind of root things. So that will grow. Once that's grown, we can take clippings of it and sort of drop those into a new set of crop sticks. And in theory, all being well, we should get um, a nice crop of tulips, which means we'll have lots of uh, lots of orange dye, which is good because that means we'll be able to make lots of juice and cookies. And that will help us with the, the blood magic and as a food for healing. So the great part of this is we can literally just literally just paste these down. See where we've already got somewhere we've got it a bit wrong. Just want singles, we don't need them to to be crossing each other. And in theory, we should be able to get um, another barrel, maybe, and hock a hock to start feeding into this. So let's, oops, let's put that back down again. Let's just gather some of that up again, and we'll take that away. And that should hopefully get that back into a point where it's not sort of spitting quite so much out. I think it is still a little bit crazy. Is that completely full? Wow, it is. There we go. So that is that. I'm going to just deposit this essence just into here as well for the time being. Because quite frankly, can't be dealing with it right now. There we go. So, We'll keep the clippers on us, but we'll go and we'll start having a look at the next thing that we were trying to make. So, um, want to make a magician's blood orb. So for that, we need a bunch of life points. We need some gold. Uh, in fact, we need quite a lot of gold. We need a block of gold for that. So we've got ourselves I'm pretty sure it's a block of gold. And we need 25,000 life points in our tier 3 blood altar. So, I have got the magical food on me. Let's go and get our elven knife. And let's go see if we can't make ourselves a magician's blood orb whilst we're waiting for those. Ow. Here we go again. Uh, but yeah, while we're waiting for those uh, orange tulips to do their thing, I think we're going to be a little bit, little bit away from it. But you know, so here is our beautiful tier three altar. We've got a little bit of blood in there. Um, have something to eat quickly. We're going to need to heal up as quickly as we can, and it's sod's law, just as we want to do some kind of blood magic at that. We decide to start taking some poison damage, right? always their way so let's just have some magical food quickly hopefully that'll uh, boost us right back up again so let's let's do that okay 
let's have a look and we'll throw this right click on there there's probably not quite enough in there and I've come out without the uh, the sigil but we'll let that sort of absorb everything that we've got hopefully that will heal up oh no that's absorbed everything has that absorbed everything that we've got already so we still need more blood wow Alrighty, so this is taking forever. I've kind of like, not given up, but I'm kind of pausing it for a moment to go back to actually doing what we were doing with the tulips because I need juice and cookies. Um, I can't keep up with the amount of, uh, of life points that you actually need to uh, keep this going. So let's go and see how we can get on with that and see whether uh, we can get some juice and cookies going. To be able to make our things so juice and cookies if we just recall from that so juice so juice and cookie is basically a cookie and orange juice and the orange juice is blood orange so that's just dropping orange dye into into a uh, blood altar and then combining it with a bottle so do we have in here any empty bottles we've got a load of glass so let's just gather let's gather that let's just make ourselves a bunch of a bunch of bottles there we go that's 18 that should kind of keep us going anyway do you know i'm just going to make more just while we've got a couple extra so that's 24 I don't think we have any orange dye. We might have some red and some yellow dye that, whoopsie, we can combine to get started. Yeah, we've got plenty of that. So let's see if we can combine those to make some orange dye. Let's have a look in our food chest. We have, oh, four cookies. Uh, so for cookies... It's wheat and cocoa beans. So we have wheat. That's fine. Let's take some wheat. Let's go and get some cocoa beans and we'll go and have a look at our cocoa bean plants over here. That's four there. So yeah, we can see we do need to get these pretty much going as good as we can uh so let's make ourselves i think i've got a crafting table that's fine we've got to go through here so let's go and use a crafting table in here for a second and go that with that and that that's given us 60 cookies awesome right so let's show how the clippers work then that's probably hopefully our orange tulip has very nearly grown okay so there we go there's a clipping so we get a little clipping and you can see it's 10 10 10 so you can place that down and then clip again place it down clip again place it down Clip again and the 10 10 10 are pretty much guaranteed that they'll take every time so that's a start there but we've got plenty of uh plenty of dye there that we can start making blood oranges with so that was doing exactly what it was so we're going to have lost some of the dye there so this is where i need to kind of get another jabber barrel i think going over there just to give us the ability to collect our orange dye to make our blood oranges but let's fill up our blood altar as much as we can have something to eat but this should enable it to uh, fill much more quickly and then empty hand on empty hand 
hand on, empty hand on, and so on. You get the idea, right? So what we'll do is we'll just keep going with this until we're sort of fully healed up. And we'll make that combination and we shall make our juice and cookies. So what have we got there? We've got 14 of those. So let's make 14, where's our bottles? 14 juice bottles. Grab our cookies. Oh wow, okay. That's a bit of a pain. Juice and cookies don't stack, guys. So, hmm. Right, well, let's quickly. Fill this up. Let's pick the cookies up. And let's get our sigil out and let's see how's that looking probably not hitting it with the potato is probably not the way to do it uh, so it's got 1112 oh wow let's just throw those cookies out for a second you need a free hand um, bones and go over there for a bit Let's try and get a free hand so we can pull the potato out. Ah! This is so annoying. Right, just run over here and we'll go and deposit some stuff over here quickly. Uh, yeah, that's fine. These can go just in there for the moment. should then give us a free hand. To be able to get the stupid baked potato out of the blood altar, right? There. So. Pretty much healed up, so we'll put our gold in there. We'll keep filling this. And we'll have juice and cookies. Fills us up really quick. See, this is the way to do it, right? Much better. Let's get a few more ready. There we go, finally. We've done it. Happy days. Happy days. Let's eat another juice and cookies. Can we gather our cookies back yet? Yeah, we can. And why don't we fill this up a little bit more? There we go. See, that's what we needed, right? So we've now got our magician's blood orb, which is cool. So in theory, we should be able to go into our quest book and we're going to get five imbued slates from that so ooh, ooh. is that not letting us claim it for some reason claim reward no well we've definitely got it so that's another one that hasn't hasn't allowed us to complete unclaimed reward see look it's there unclaimed reward try to claim it and it won't allow us i think there has been a bit of a bug with this 
Um, yeah, so I'm not why, not sure why that isn't allowing us to claim that, which is really quite annoying, but never mind. So there we go. So that is the quick way of getting all of your uh, your blood levels up. Now we could probably do with keeping a chest uh, down there with some of the blood magic stuff and some juicer cookies and all of that lovely, lovely stuff in there. But uh, we'll stick this all back in here for the moment. So we'll keep our juice, we'll keep our cookies, all of our orbs. Now we did die. Um, and it looks like it's actually duplicated our band of mana. I'm just going to dump all of these these bits and pieces just into here for the time being. So we've got Torn Pages and Witchery. But we also got these Mysterious Maps. Mysterious Map number one and Mysterious Map number two, which is about starting a treasure hunt. So do you know what? I'm going to stick those in there for the moment. Why don't we go on a little adventure so let's have a little sleep and let's see what this does so right click there seems to be a map showing a location of some sort of treasure you note it down in your quest book it seems to point to somewhere around x760 so that's x760 and y was it 1160 Ooh. Sis, let's have it now. That's kind of weird. Huh. Well, there we go. So, whoopsie, let's stick those imbued slates just back into here for the moment. So, in the quest book. Oops. Has that given us anything else in here? How the world changes what does that okay so it's not not in that one so you note it in your quest book hmm tried 26 times wow okay and then what does this one say it seems to be much of a location of some sort of treasure. Uh, so then it's 9.30 and Z1750. Okay. Let's go on and explore, shall we? So let's have a look. We are at 252. That's quite an out quite a long way away from us actually isn't it Ooh. this probably could not be a uh, clever thing to do maybe let me put our sword into our proper hand So 760, we're at 300, it's not too far. And we're going... Ah, so it's off this way. Let's see if we can find one lot of treasure before we, uh, we finish up for the day. It could be quite interesting. So I will keep running. And I'll catch up with you guys when we uh, are nearer the spot. See you in a sec. Well, apparently, it should be here. And I've come out with absolutely no decent axe whatsoever. Hmm. What the world teaches. There we go. Ah. Mysterious map number one. Oh, 1100. Ah. Okay. We gotta go back up. We were too far down. 
was 760. 1100. Anything down here at all? What's this we're picking up? Marble. What does it actually say? Oh, look. Is that it? Are you serious? Okay. So here we are, out in the wilderness. Right, where's map number two then? So map number two. So we need to go to minus 950, 17... 56 minus 950 1756 so we need to head back this way so i think we kind of need to go diagonally to get home anyway don't we so i think we've uh, we've completed one of the maps so let's just get ourselves back home got another one of these burnt down houses here haven't we don't think there's anything of any any value for us here though. Is there a basement? Right, there's our hobgoblin hut. Alrighty, well that ended up being a bit of a derpy episode. So obviously what I need to do is to actually get um get another jabber barrel made to start collecting orange dye um, and start spreading those plants out. Yeah, we've had a bit of a derp. We've got a little couple of things done but not anywhere near as much as I'd like to but hey we went on a treasure hunt that ended up taking us miles and miles and miles away from home um so yeah all in bit of a special episode right but hey we're making some progress so it uh, can't be bad but for now guys thank you all very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and we shall see you in the next one take care